The purpose of this video is to explain the difference between a midline catheter and a pick line objectively. This video will review ways of identifying, maintaining, and monitoring different intravenous catheters or IV catheters. So we will start by determining what each one is and then compare the two starting with a pick line. A pick or peripherally inserted central catheter is inserted in the upper arm with its tip going past the shoulder and stopping in the SVC or superior vena cava, just outside the heart, not inside the heart. Midline catheters are similar to regular peripheral IVs that nurses or radiology techs might start to gain IV access for procedures or medication administration. Midlines inserted at our facility will be either 8 centimeters or 10 centimeters long and will not pass the shoulder internally and as such do not require an x-ray for confirmation, meaning that they are peripheral lines only and that they simply have a longer cannula than traditional peripheral lines. They do not require a doctor's order to insert and therefore they do not require an order to remove them. Midline catheters have a max dwell time of 30 days and are indicated for treatments lasting four weeks or less. Now that we've been given a simple definition of both a pick line and a midline, let's discuss who can actually insert these lines. Currently at our facility, only pick certified nurses can insert these lines as they can facilitate the placement under ultrasound guidance. Uh, these pick nurses have completed training on both procedures and have proven their competency on both procedures and as such should be the only ones inserting them in both cases. Now that we know who can insert them, let's talk about when they can be inserted. Pick lines can only be inserted after a doctor has ordered one and consent has been obtained. Midlines do not require an order or consent, but the primary nurses should have at least attempted multiple times to insert an IV and have failed before they ask for a pick nurse to insert one. In both cases, renal patients are not indicated for either line. Therefore, a pick line or midline uh, placement on a renal patient requires either a nephrologist or kidney doctor to have ordered that placement. So how will the pick nurse know that you need one of these lines? For a pick line, there has to be an order in the computer for a pick console. Usually we will ask if the consent has been done before we say we will come to do it but whenever the PIC consult is ordered in the computer, a slip will print down in the house supervisor's office and then they will notify the PIC team that the order has been placed and on which room the PIC line is needed. On the other hand, for a midline, if after multiple attempts there has been no success on an IV start, we would like for the staff to call extension 6150, which is the, for the radiology department, and ask to speak with the pick nurse for that week so that they can assist you in facilitating the placement of that line. Pick lines are indicated for long-term treatment generally longer than four weeks and are appropriate for chemotherapy and TPN. Midlines are indicated for treatments less than four weeks and are contraindicated for TPN and chemotherapy. As far as length, a pick line can be as long as 55 centimeters. Midlines will either be 8 centimeters or 10 centimeters with our current devices. Pick lines will rest in the SVC or superior vena cava, and midlines will end before the shoulder or distal to the axillary vein. This image shows the veins and arteries of our bodies. Zooming in, we can see now the veins and arteries of the arm, shoulder, and chest. Now we will remove the arteries to simplify the image more, but this diagram is currently showing the placement for a pick line that would be acceptable on a chest x-ray. On an x-ray, you would want to see the tip be in the lower one-third of the SVC for the best results, namely to prevent it from flipping up into the neck. However, a pick line that has made it into this area or into the SVC is considered a pick line. Now for the midline catheter, uh, as far as the end of the tip, we are going to be looking at the axillary vein here, and we would not want the catheter to cross past the distal part of the axillary vein, which is here shown on the diagram. Anything below this point in the upper arm and forearm would be acceptable for placement as a midline. External placement or location of a pick line will always be in the upper arm at our facility. 
Generally speaking, we place them on the right side the most, but we also place them on the left side. Midlines, on the other hand, will also be on either side in the upper arm, but can additionally be placed on the forearm. We will review identifying which line is which later in this video. Both pick lines and midlines need to be flushed with 10 milliliters of saline after each use or at least every 12 hours. Additionally, pick lines need to have 200 units of heparin instilled to each port that is not in continuous use. As far as dressing changes, both lines only require dressing changes every 7 days as long as they are clean, dry, and intact. The seven day time period is due to the ability of the bio patch or Gardasil patch or chlorhexidine gel patch remaining effective against growth at the insertion site. As far as vesicant therapy, as stated before, pick lines can have TPN chemotherapy or even presser medications in use for as long as the line is good to use. Midlines, on the other hand, cannot have TPN or chemotherapy under any circumstance which we've discussed, but midlines can have only one presser medication given through them for up to 48 hours before a central line would have to take over and be placed. If at any time an additional presser or more than one presser medication is required, a med line would not be warranted and a central line should be placed instead. In this regard, midlines can help facilitate treatment but require diligence. If a midline has a presser medication going through it every two hours, there has to be documentation in the computer on an IV assessment site for that specific midline. It is extremely important that this be done to avoid extra vitiation. And for more information on this topic, please see our policy on midlines. Here is a standard pick line inserted at our facility. Note that it actually says pick line on it. There are three lines, one of which that can be used with a CT power injector that essentially runs contrast through it in the radiology department. The red port is the largest of the three lines and the three ports are not symmetrical. The red port takes up 50% of the line while the gray and white port take up about 25%. Note that the gauge of each port is labeled and that the size of the entire catheter is found here. This image is a mock setup of what a pick line would look like on a patient that was freshly inserted. Note that the stat lock securing the device and how the dressing is doubled, layered where the hubs come out from under the dressing. When side by side with a mock image of a midline, note that it says that there is, is not a central line externally. There is only one port on the midline and there are three ports on the pick line. The color schemes are different. The pick line says that it's a pick line and the midline simply says that it is 10 centimeters long and could not possibly be a pick line at that length. So what if you still can't tell the difference? Uh, then we need to go to the computer and see what the pick line nurses have been documenting. If you go to the Monopoly card, you can scroll down till you see the mini assessment pick line insertion option. You will double click on that in order to see the documentation. Note that you may have to change the date. Usually you'll just change the year back a year so that you can see the actual entry. Um, so moving on, we can see that the pick nurse has documented a circumference of 36 centimeters that it is a 5 French triple lumen to the right upper arm basilic vein and that it has been confirmed by a doctor. It only took one attempt to insert the pick line. There is no excessive line outside of the arm and that the hub is all the way to the insertion site or all the way to the skin. We can see that from this dressing um, documented here that this was what was originally put on the pick line right after insertion and that the total catheter length is 40 centimeters. If a main line was inserted we would go to the IV assessment located here. We would see what day and what time the midline catheter was inserted, what size it was, how many lumens it would have, and if we click on the comments we can see that this was a 18 gauge 10 centimeter midline that was inserted to the right upper arm basilic vein. 
All of this information is meant to help nurses determine if they are dealing with a pick line or a midline, and as such, this video has met the original objectives of assisting in identifying, maintaining, and monitoring these catheters.